right, as promised, I'll teach you quickly how to make a beer can cook stove. And there's a million different ways of doing it. Um, yeah, if you look online here on YouTube, you're going to find a bunch of different ways to do it. Uh, this is just the simplest one and the one that I learned first. So this is how I do it. I obviously take a beer can and a pocket knife. And you want to cut the top out. So then once you've got the top cut out like that, you want to split the can down the middle. And for this I use scissors. So then you've got the two halves. And for most purposes you want to have a, a small uh, reservoir. So I'll cut it down a bit. So something like that, and then for the top half, you want to make it slightly smaller. So about that size. Once you've got that made, what you want to do is give it some creases so that uh, the fuel has somewhere to burn. So just with two fingers, and then move them along. So that when you're completed, you have it creased kind of like that all the way around. And not only is that going to en enable you to get it inside of the bottom, but as I mentioned, it gives a, a space for the fuel to escape. And probably the most important thing when you once you've got it to this point is that it needs a little hole to breathe. So you got that breather hole in there. And now it's just a, a simple matter of putting some fuel in there, lighting it, and putting the pot on top. And there you are, that's your stove. Or you could do like I do and uh, not use that. Spend a little bit of money, get yourself a Trangia. And you can see with this one, it comes with the reservoir, uh, which I've had this one probably for 20 years plus. Um, it'll probably last for the rest of my life. It's brass. There's a lid. There usually is an O-ring in these uh, that you're supposed to be able to carry fuel in here, but I find that the O-rings leak all the time, so I don't use it. And then, of course, you've got a simmering lid, and the way that works is you just open and close it as much as you'd like. But... This one's even simpler. A little bit of fuel in there. And your pot sits on top. A lot easier, a lot simpler, works better, you can simmer with it, and it's got the wind protection. So that's it in a nutshell. 
beer can stove, and my preferred method is the trangia.